Hello friends, welcome to Renville Educate channel. In this video, we are going to learn basic statistics functions in Excel. Excel provides an extensive range of statistical functions that perform calculations from basic mean, median and mode to the more complex statistical distribution and probability tests. In this video, we are going to learn the basic 10 statistics functions like standard deviation, rank, small function, large function, trim mean function, median function, liniest function, frequency function, growth function and the most important is pi function. Before moving to this session, I request you to subscribe my YouTube channel that will educate like my videos and share my videos with your friends. Now let's start each function one by one. So the first function we have is uh, the basic minimum, maximum, sum, average, count and count A function. So this is very easy function as you all know uh, we are using these functions in many places and many uh, I already used these functions in previous uh, uh, my videos so but still these functions are we are using in statistical calculations as well so I have these values from B1 sorry B2 to G2 so six values I have I will just put the function for each category equal minimum then equal max equal sum equal average equal count just you can see here what are the result is coming okay and equal count A okay so these are the values for each function you can see the minimum here this value maximum is this value here sum of these values nothing but 432 and uh, and average is nothing but you can see 72.12 there are 6 and there are 6 count count and count here normally the same count nothing but it will count so all the values here except the text and errors and count a counts all okay so uh, if you want to see this formula what I have written you can see here I just uh, uh, type here one formula equal formula text so whatever formula I am writing here so you can see that text of that formula okay now let's move on the second important function that is standard deviation now what is standard deviation function will give the excel standard deviation function returns the standard deviation for data that represents a sample so I will write the formula here standard uh, see when I s type the standard there are different st standard deviations here the standardized stand dv point p standard dv point s stand eva but here the important the function we are normally using is standard deviation sim uh, uh, sample we can say so you if you see it it shows estimates standard deviation based on a sample and ignores logical values and text in the sample so equal I will select this range okay and I will close so you can see what is the result you are getting so this is nothing but the standard deviation function how we are using in Excel so next function is large function so the now large function will give you 
the largest values in a set of data with criteria okay so to, to see the result i will use this formula here large okay returns the kth largest value in a data set for example the fifth largest number equal large okay array the array is nothing but the range so range is this one okay comma so i want to get third largest number so i will write k is nothing but third because i want to get third largest number and i will close the bracket so you can see in this year so the third largest number is nothing but if you see this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one suppose i want to get fourth largest so what i will do i will write instead of 3 as 4 so the fourth largest is this one and the fifth largest is this one okay this is how we are using the largest large function so the next function is small function similar to large function small function we are using to get the smallest value in a set of data with criteria so equal small array comma i want to get the fifth small or fourth small value in this data set so the fourth smallest okay so the fourth smallest uh, here the value is nothing but 102 why it is giving it is taking the value for, see the this is the first this is the second and this is the third and this is the fourth smallest value okay second largest value and fourth smallest value next function is rank function so the rank function returns the statistical rank of the given value within a supplied array of values now array is these values okay so equal rank see rank there is cut rank dot avg what it says returns the rank of a number in a list of numbers its size relative to other values in the list if more than one value has the same rank the average rank is written suppose i have the 18.54 two three times so a rank is the same number will be given but for the next number it will consider the next number if okay so that is how we are using rank point avg but most of the cases we are using rank dot eq that is returns the rank of a number in a list of numbers its size related to other values in the list if more than one value has the same rank the top rank of that set of value is returned so i will write the formula equal rank eq number now which number i want to select for example 18 point this value this number okay next to the reference now reference i will this is the array reference nothing but array next i have order now order zero if you don't give by default it is considering the descending order so here zero is descending and one is the ascending so i will give zero okay so 18.54 is the fifth rank it's not descending so zero is not descending zero is ascending here suppose if you want to give uh, as one that is the descending okay it is the first rank 18.54 is the first rank if you give here as zero that is in ascending okay that is fifth rank what in case if i don't give any order so by default is it will consider as fifth because it will consider as descending order this is how we need to use rank function now next important function that is trim mean function what does trim mean function do trim mean function rounds the number of a excluded data points down to the nearest multiple of two okay let us see with an example equal trim main function okay 
returns the mean of the interior portion of a set of data value equal now array this is the array okay okay comma the percentage so i will give the percentage a uh, point 0.10 okay that is a 10% and i will close see what values it will give this is how 71.48812 that is the result of this trim function suppose if i change the percentage say uh, instead of 1 i will make it 2.2 see the value still remains the same okay because it it uh, uh, excludes the data points of the down to the nearest and multiple of 2 okay that's how we need to use trim mean function and it is one of the important statistical function and the next function we will move median function so the median function returns the median that is a middle number in the supplied set of a data this is another important statistical function so equal median okay number this is the array comma okay i want to find out mid okay uh, so this is the uh, array and i will close okay so the middle number of in this data set that is 95.37 okay it will give the middle number in the given set given set of data next function is linest function now linest function in excel is a function used to generate regression statistics for a linear regression model now i will not explain what is linear regression model those who are studying statistics they know they will come across but this is the function which is available in excel to calculate linest value equal linest okay known ys value 2 i'll select known xs value 1 i'll select now whatever in the square bracket that is optional and i will close so this will give you the value 0.010396 and 100.6312 so that is how it will generate and regression statistics okay for a linear regression model okay so the next function is growth function growth function calculates y values on the basis of an exponential growth rate of given x values let us see how result will show this growth function okay growth equal known as y comma known as x and i'll close the bracket see now it has returned the y values based on exponential growth rate of x values okay this is how growth function works in excel next important function that is frequency function frequency function in excel is used to calculate how many times a number is getting repeated let us see in this example what result we are getting equal frequency okay data array that is this one okay and bins array which i want to search in the table and i'll close okay now see now if you see uh, the first 102 okay maybe you can give your dollar sign uh, to why the uh, formula is not copying some time just what you will do shift f4 to insert the dollar symbol okay so sorry okay now if you see 
uh, 102 it shows six tabs 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay next 37 37 how many times two tabs 1 and 2 next 103 103 you don't have 18 one one time and 10 again one time okay this is how you will use the frequency function and the last important function that is phi function phi function will return the value of the density function for a standard normal distribution for a supplied number okay let us see what phi value i will get for 0.99 equal phi okay and x is nothing but the 0.99 and i'll close see the 0.25 so i will drag this formula down see 0.37 and similarly you will get for values for others okay because i have i use here rand function whenever the values one keeps on updating the result also will be updated frequently okay so this is how you need to use this phi function in excel friends i have explained 10 important statistical functions in excel if you like this video please press like button and share this video to your friends write a nice comment on this video and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel ran will educate thank you friends for watching this video thank you